So free space. A proud broadcaster in THX picture and sound where available. Okay everyone, welcome to game two of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the SNES. This is a long-awaited second game. So far in one game I've won $7,600. Let's see if I can win more. Let's play. Yep, $7,600 is my one game wins total. Let's add on to that as I take on Rob and Jim. It's an all guys game. We have six categories to deal with. They are starts with F, mythology, number please. We had this in my recent game of Jeopardy for the SNES. Furniture, New England, and finally, the Old West. Okay, good categories. We'll start things off with furniture for 100. The answer is... Some ancient, since ancient times, these furniture supports have been carved to look like animal paws. They're called feet. Oh yeah. Couldn't quite remember. Furniture for 200. The answer is... An elaborate gentleman's dressing table is named for this 19th century dandy. I'll take a guess and say who was Yankee Doodle Dandy. No, it was not him. Ugh, not a good way to start off the game, but we'll make do with what we can. It was Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Um, furniture 300. The answer is... In the 1920s, this furniture style was known as style modern or art modern. What is, um, art, uh, deco. Oh, I got it right. Okay. Uh, furniture 400. The answer is... Now I have a little bit of some cash in front of me. Pastry name for a circular table whose rim looks like the crimped edge of a dessert. Rob. It's a pie crust table. Oh, yeah. Rob has a little bit of some money now. Number, please. 100. The answer is... On TV's Get Smart, this was the number of the agent who gave birth to twins. What is 99? Yep. Uh, number please for 200. The answer is... News magazine seen Friday nights on ABC or an ophthalmologist in term for normal vision. What is 2020? Tied for the lead right now. Number please for 300. The answer is... World War I, Doughboy said this many Frenchmen can't be wrong, even though there weren't that many. What is, uh, 50? No. I'm thinking of the song from Beauty and the Beast. Jim. 
Oh, he doesn't know. Rob. It's 50 million. Okay, 50 million. Rob increases his lead, but we keep going. Starts with F for 100. The answer is... A big wheel at the fair. Usually the biggest wheel there. What is a Ferris wheel? Starts with F for 200. Or for 300, I guess. A fancy name for it would be the violinist crab. What is a fiddler crab? There we go. Now give me starts with F for 200 to tie for the lead. The answer is... A long, narrow inlet of the Sea of Norway. Have you driven one lately? What is a fjord? Tied for the lead right now. Starts with F for 400. The answer is... Canadian John McRae wrote a poem about this American cemetery in Belgium. Don't know. Jim. And he doesn't know either, so he's going deeper in the hole. Minus 700. Rob. Flanders Field. Oh, yeah. Rob takes the lead for now, but we go to the next clue. Mythology for 100. The answer is... His favorite residence was the woods and mountains of Arcadia, where he played his pipes. Who is uh, Hermes? Or no, 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 no. Who is Pan? There we go. I'll take the $200 clue in mythology, please. The answer is... These sylvan deities were part man and part goat and served Bacchus. What are satyrs? And if that's right, I go to $1,000. Uh-huh. Mythology for 300. The answer is... Classified between human and god, the dryads were these female spirits of the woods. What are, uh, harpies? No. Dropping me down to 700. Jim. Nymphs. Okay. Okay. Mythology for 400. The answer is... Artemis, the god of wildlife, was the twin, the twin sister of this son of Zeus. Who is Apollo? There we go. Tied for the lead once again. Mythology for 500. The answer is... Its mass was from the forest of Dodona, where the trees of the power... where the trees had the power of prediction. Jim. And he doesn't know yet again. Rob. He doesn't know either. I'm gonna stay put. The Argo. Okay, let's take starts with that for five minutes, please. Answer there. Hamlet moaned, all that this too, too solid stuff would melt. 
rub flesh. So he ties me for the lead. Furniture for 500. And the answer there's the daily double. Which I know he's going to make it a true daily double. Here's your clue. Sometimes carved to resemble an urn, it's an ornament at the top of a bedpost, and it's a finial. He got it. $2,200 now. We go to the next clue. The Old West for 100 The answer is... Shot for hides, 3,500 tons of their bones were hauled by the Santa Fe Railroad in 1874. What are buffalo? Yep. The old one's for 200. The answer is. In the old west, if an outlaw died of hemp fever, he went this way. Jim. Hanging. Oh, yeah. New England for a hundred. The answer is. It's the largest city in New England. What is Boston? Yeah. Uh, New England for two hundred, please. The answer is. Newport was a co-capital of this state from 1854 to 1900. What is Rhode Island? Uh, New England for 300. The answer is... It's the only New England state without a sea coast on the Atlantic Ocean. What is Vermont? New England for 400. The answer is... On landing near Cape Cod in April 1614, this founder of Virginia gave New England its name. Jim. It was Captain John Smith. Okay. New England for 500. The answer is... When the British tried to back Connecticut's chartier, it was hidden in this type of tree. Oh, an oak tree, yeah. So Jim has $1,200 and he makes the next selection. The old West for 300 The answer is... In 1891, this was found in Poverty Gulch, Colorado by Robert Womack, a cowboy who died poor. Jim. Gold. Oh yeah! So he's at $500 and he gets to make the next selection. Number, please, for 400. The answer is... Number of lords a-leaping in the song of 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, crap. Jim. He doesn't remember. Rob. Ten Lords of Leaping. Okay. Couldn't remember off the top of my head. But we go on. Number please, 500. The answer is... In Italian art and literature, Quattrocento refers to the style of this century. What is the 14th? Jim. Oh, 
well, Jim doesn't know. Back in the hole. These are some very tough clues. Rob. It's the 15th. Oh, okay. Right. Two clues left. The Old West 400. The answer is... Settlers bound for California who made the mistake of taking the Hastings Cutoff in 1826. Jim. Ah, once again, no surprise, he doesn't know. He's at minus 800. How did Jim even get on the show? Rob. Oh, the Donner Party, that's right. Last clue. The answer is... During 1871, Texas drove about 600,000 cattle north to Abilene, Kansas on this route. Jim. The Chisholm Trail. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, Rob is 3,500, I have 1,300, Jim has minus 300, so he's going to go first. Categories for Double Jeopardy are flowers, weather, Shakespeare, quotes, science, and finally, artists. Let's begin Double Jeopardy at this time, in which Jim makes the first selection. Artists, 200. The answer is there. In return for film rights, Japanese TV financed a 12-year work cleaning his Vatican frescoes. Um, who was uh, Vincent Van Gogh? No, 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 no. I'm going to change my mind. Who is uh, Leonardo da Vinci? Either way, I'm wrong, so I dropped to 1100. Jim, I only have $1,100 right now. It was Michelangelo! I was wrong either way. I don't know why I wasn't thinking Michelangelo, so Jim, go again. Quotes 200. The answer is. I was on my way to being a millionaire. I gave my wealth to the revolution, says this plo boss, PLO boss. Jim. Yasir Arafat. So now Jim has a little bit of some cash again. Shakespeare 200. The answer is. This comedy features a woman named Hero and a hero named Benedict, but it isn't much. What is uh, Much Ado About Nothing? There we go. Shakespeare for 400. Characters in this play include a prophetess, a Trojan priest, and a son of King Priam. Jim. Oh, Troilus and Cressida. Uh-huh. He's up to $500, and he gets to make the next election. Quotes 400. The answer is... In Maximus for Revolutionists, Shaw wrote, He who can, does. He who cannot, does this. 
Jim. Teaches, okay. Shakespeare for 600. The answer is... Make no mistake, this play about twins was musicalized as the boys from Syracuse. What is uh, a comedy of errors? What is the comedy of errors? Shakespeare for 800. I'm at 1900 right now. The answer is... This play is set partially in Corioli, as you can tell from the title. Jim. And he doesn't know again! I don't know, so I'm not buzzing in. Rob. Coriol Coriolanus. Coriolanus. I don't know how you pronounce it. Either way, Rob is right. He goes to 4,300. Quotes for 600. The answer is... Now I lay me down to this. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. What is sleep? And that'll put me at $2,500. I'll take quotes for 800. The answer is... An optimist is a guy that has never had much experience, wrote Don Marquis in this book. Jim. Archie and Mehetable. I don't know how you say it. Either way, he's right! Weather, 200. The answer is... A recent study indicates 22 to 40 percent of lightning flashes without this being heard. What is thunder? Let's go with weather for 400, please. Or for 600, I guess. Sorry. This term for a tropical cyclone is the far east equivalent of a hurricane. A tropical cyclone? I'll say what is a monsoon. No. This is tough. Jim. Oh, well, once again, he doesn't know. I begin to wonder how Jim even got on the show. Did he cheat on the test? I think he did. Rob. And Rob doesn't know. So no harm, no foul on that one. It's a typhoon. Oh. Nah. Let's take weather for 400, please. The answer is... Answer. There. A slippery mixture of falling rain and snow. What is sleet? Alright. Let's take weather for 800, please. The answer is... Arizona black blizzards created by a mix of high wet winds from the tropics and dry ground air. Jim. Aha, he's back in the hole. Doo -doo. You fail miserably. Rob. Dust storms. I was going to say that too, but I didn't know. So now Rob has exactly $2,000 more than me. Let's go to the next clue. Flowers for 200 Answer there is one of the two daily doubles. Here is the clue. Twi oh, twining flower that opens in the AM of the title of a 1933 film starring Katherine Hepburn in its morning glory. He's at $8,000. Oh boy. I don't know. Science for 200 The answer is... 
Fatty acid salt made from boiling fats or oils with an alkali, often resisted by dirty children. What is soap? That'll put me at $2,700, but I need to bounce back. Big time. I'll go with flowers for 400 please. The answer is... Answer there. A tall, graceful summer flower or a PBS show hosted by Carl Sagan. Jim. Cosmos. Okay. These are some tough clues. They don't call it the deluxe edition for nothing. I'll tell you that right now. Shakespeare for a thousand. The answer is... He was banished from Verona for killing Tybalt. Who is Romeo? That'll put me at $3,700. There we go. Flowers for 600 The answer is... Literally, Flower of the Lily. It's seen in herald heraldry as well as in the garden. Jim. A fleur de lis. That's right. Once again, Jim is out of the hole and has a little bit of some cash. Artist 400. The answer is... Though he died in France, Van Gogh was born in this country. What is the Netherlands? There we go. Let's go back to uh, flowers for 600 plate for 800. The answer is Methods of doing this to flowers include hanging them upside down and putting them in silica gel. Jim. Drying. Oh yeah. Derp. 1300 for Jim. Next clue. Science 400. The answer is... This unit of animal power was first used by James Watt. What is horsepower? As I'm trying desperately to build my total and to keep this run going or else I'll have to end it. $4,500 now. Uh, flowers for a thousand, please. The answer is... And the answer there. A weed with lacy white flowers named for an English monarch. Jim. Queen Anne's Lace. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now Jim is starting to build up just a little bit. But we have eight clues left. Let's go to the next one. Science for 600. The answer is... Answer? There. Of alpha, beta, or gamma rays, these penetrate the farthest. What are gamma rays? Uh, science for 800, please. The answer is... These are the main cause of naturally occurring infrasonic waves on Earth. What are earthquakes? As I get try to get closer to Rob and come back to win the game. Uh-huh. Science for 1,000. Science took a leap forward when physicist Max Planck developed this theory about light. What is a quantum leap? Oh, I hope that's right. No! Now I'm starting to slip again. Jim. It is quantum theory. Quantum theory. Not quantum leap. Quantum theory. Oh well. That's okay. Jim. Five clues left. Weather for a thousand. The other daily double. This is your chance to try to come back in the game, Jim. You have 3,300. The National Weather Service defines this as a considerable snowfall with winds over 35 miles per hour. It's a blizzard. I knew that one. He's at 5,600. Oh boy. Four clues left. Quotes for a thousand. The answer is. 
actually is. In the House of the Seven Gables, he wrote, Life is made up of marble and mud. Ay, ay, ay. Jim. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm even going to have a chance. Oh, Nathaniel Hawthorne, yeah. $4,900 right now. Three clues left. I don't know. The answer is... Harper's Weekly hired Winslow Homer to provide illustrations for the, of this war for its readers. What is the uh, Civil War? There we go. 800. The answer is... When his false start sold in November 1988 for 17 million dollars, it set a record for a living artist. Jim. And he doesn't know, so he's gonna slip a little bit, down to 5,800. There is still a chance. There is still a chance that I could win. Just have to hope for the best. Oh, Rob decides he wants to try it. If he gets it wrong, he'll slip. And he got it wrong, so he's going to slip a little bit. So he's at 7,200. I'm not sure, so I'm going to stay put. Okay, who was it? Jasper Johns. Now the last clue. The answer is... There's still a chance for me, so here we go. Edward Hicks's best-known work, it shows the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 16 about animals together. Jim. The Peaceable Kingdom. So Jim is at 6800 Rob $7,200, and me $5,500. It's going to be a close fight to the finish. So we'll see what happens, if I can keep this run going or not. No matter what happens, I'm already leaving here with $7,600. Let's take a look at our category. It is weather. I just have to hope that Jim and Rob mess up or don't wager enough. Have to hope for one of those two things to happen. They either don't wager enough or that they mess up. I'm going to have to go all in. 5,500. A 1989 drought in this country caused dry fields in Tuscany and low water levels in Venice. What is Italy? I know I'm right. Is it Italy? It is. Okay. It all depends. Here we go. I said, what is Italy? I take the lead for now with $11,000. Did Jim come up with Italy? He also did. He goes to... Oh, I lose. Rob? No. So Jim beat me by $600. So I'm going home with $7,600. It's alright. I'll do a new run for this game soon. Catch you all next time, everybody.